Hey YouTubers, um, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on your lawnmower. Most people will run their lawnmower on the same oil for its whole entire life and it will take so many years off its life and say if you changed the oil on your lawnmower every season like they uh, ask you to, you can have your lawnmower for 20 plus years. That's a really long time. But if you run it on the same oil, you never change it, you're just lazy, it, you can you can have it run for maybe maybe three or four years, if you're lucky. That's if your lawnmower is like beautiful, if it's like beautifully running, that's, that's if it runs like, yeah, three years. <laughs> hey, I am sick today, so, um, sorry for the, s the sniffing and the coughing, so. Um, I've got a, I, this. This had a shroud on it. This. And I've already gone ahead and removed that. Um, on this lawnmower, the drain plug is here. It's a small drain plug. If you can see that. Here, let me move up a little bit. It's a really small drain plug. You can tell the drain plug by. Um, there's usually no bolts on the bottom, other than the one that goes here that holds the blade in. But this is the drain plug on this lawnmower. On all lawnmowers, um, of course there's a carb, but um, here I'm going to tip this back over. You want to make sure where your carb is. My carb's on the other side because here's the exhaust. Um, on some lawnmowers, the exhaust and carb are on the same side. That's on the cheaper lawnmowers most of the time. But um, you want to make sure that your carb is pointing upwards so you don't flood your engine. But in this case, I'm changing the oil, so I want the drain plug higher, the highest that I can get it. So I probably will flood my engine. I don't know. Now I think about it, I probably won't because this engine is set up a certain way. But I'll show you how to uh, change your oil. I strongly suggest you change it um, every season. Like every... I do it at wi uh, winter time so it sits with clean oil in it. Um, you actually want to start your lawnmower up and let it run for a little while. Half an hour is a little long, but if you're if you haven't changed it in a long time, you're going to want to run it for that long. Um, I'm just trying to find the right size here. Um, the reason why you want to warm it up first is because it'll get all the gunk off the bottom of the, of the engine. Here we're loosening it up. Okay, that's loose. You're going to want a um, drain pan. You're going to open this up. Sometimes when you just open them up, they start leaking like crazy. This one, I can open up and pull off without it leaking. Um, here's my <laughs> drain bowl. Small cooking pot. Camping cooking pot. I found it in my shed. Just flip this over. Yeah, there it goes. I can hear it. We just wait for it to uh, to drain. Um, I run a 1030 1030 mortar oil of GT GTX Castrol or other way around. Um, see that one more had um, a bolt like that on it. Um, I'm gonna take that off. This, some lawnmowers have um, this kind right here, which confuse people. They go, well, I don't have that kind of socket. I'm confused. Like, I don't have that. It's this part. This is, it's the part that you insert into the socket. Because if you look at a socket, that and that match. They look the same. So you put this into here, and you twist it off. It's not a big deal, you just do the same thing as you know. See now, on my Tecumseh, which is really weird, and really cheapy, it has a really big bolt. Sometimes I've seen Tecumsehs have a really big bolt like this, but with a bolt on the outside, 
and an insert for this on the inside. And I've seen these plastic too on Tecumseh. Figure that out. I believe this is done now. It might still be draining. Um, let me check the oil level. It's almost done. I'm going to wipe this off with a rag. Got it wiped off with a rag. Nothing in there. A little bit on the bottom. Gonna want to wait for it a little bit longer. If you know where your drain plug is down on the bottom, it's this way and back a little bit. You're gonna want to tilt your lawnmower that way a little bit for the last few minutes. Just drip all that you can out of it. Because you want all that mortar oil out of there. This motor oil wasn't the dirtiest. It was starting to get brown. But I picked this lawnmower up in a trade, and the guy said that he had it for about two or three years. Um, it, it was clean oil. But when oil sits for a long period of time, even not being used, it'll still lose its lubrication, like it's being used. So if you have, if you have a lawnmower that sat in storage for four or five years, and it, you just barely put brand new oil before you put it into storage. Change it anyways. But still change it before you put it into storage because it helps keep the engine alive. Ooh, never mind. That's dark oil. I thought it was just kind of brown, but that's pitch black. My kitty's going to get high off it. <laughs> oh, kitty. Anyways, now I can replace the drain plug. my ratchet all back together. I had to, but I am, but I had to. Oh, I gotta fill the drain plug though. Some people say, what do you mean by fill? When you're putting the drain plug in, you have to make sure you put it in straight, and if it's kind of tough to put in, stop, pull back out, and try it again, because you can actually uh, re-thread it, which uh, re-thread it, which is really bad, because if you re-thread it, you can make the drain plug weaker, all that kind of fun stuff. We're getting seven, seven minutes, and, oh, eight minutes now, into the video. I uh, might have a part two, hopefully not, because I don't like to do part twos. Put that on there nice and tight. We can close the shroud now, I'm not going to bore you with putting all that back together because this has a multi-gear system in it, which is kind of fun to figure out. The interesting thing is, though, is it runs kind of like a snowmobile, if you know how a snowmobile runs. It's that same kind of, kind of mechanism. It, this comes out like this to change gears. It's kind of neat. Anyways, we're getting kind of right into the, huh, into the movie now. I'm going to replace some more oil. Sorry if you can't see, but I'm not going to move. This is nice, clean, beautiful oil. You can hear the mower companies running around in my neighborhood. Which I'm starting to... Yeah, sorry about that. I'm starting to put them out of business because I'm starting to mow their lawns now. Uh, which is sweet. They do a better job than they do anyways. Because they're so fast and they just do it quickly and get it done with. I do it slowly and do it accurately. Okay, you have to be careful when you're replacing your oil though. Is because the oil is very clean and it's really hard to see on the stick. You have to look at it uh, in the light. In the sun, it's right here. It's really hard to see. So it needs just a little bit more. Most lawnmowers take about a quart, quart and a half. I've had them take two quarts and a half, but that was a big engine. That was my V-twin. That's about it. 
Don't overfill though. If you overfill, you can blow your engine. You can totally blow all your seals, all that fun stuff. I was supposed to wipe this off, but I'm running out of uh, time. And actually, we are full. Cool. Well, see you later, YouTubers. I hope you learned something. <coughs> <laughs> yes, the muffler is hot. Wow. <laughs> uh, see you later, YouTubers. Please subscribe, comment. See you later. Bye.